here I am in Fort Canning Park in Singapore. Check it out. I've been at Singapore for the last few days and it's been incredible to see the different country, different culture and different people. And this is my first leg of traveling. So I miss that I'm completely out of my comfort zone and completely out of my depth in the different culture, environment and not quite knowing anyone here. And uh, traveling solo has had its toll in some ways in the fact that I haven't been able to uh, communicate well or have that someone to rely on or have that someone with me you know when I come home to my family or when I go to uh, places where I meet my friends whether it's at work at youth or outside somewhere else it's just that you're alone and you're solo and the only way to meet people is actually by introducing yourself to the locals and the tourists and uh, it's quite daunting because the only way you can meet people is through tourists or through locals and by actually going out of your own way to meet people and say hello. And I think it's a good and stopped reminder that community and fellowship is such a pivotal part in life. You know, that's how God intended life to be and that is done with people on a journey with people. And um, I think I just wanted to encourage you and remind you that your life is to be done and lived around people and also build a community into something that happens naturally. And it's done through activeness and willingness to introduce yourself, to actually make relationships work, to get to know people, to go out of your way to, to get to know someone and what makes them click, who they are, their personality, and how you can actually come together in a community. And I think I just wanted to encourage you to, to be active, you know. Being alone has been pretty daunting. And then God started to speak to me and say, you know, some people do life this way. Some people are alone in their own country, in their own home. And that was quite scary because, you know, it's a, it's a horrible way to live without human touch, without human contact, without people you know, without feeling valued and loved by the people around you that you do life with. So I just wanted to leave you with this. Go out of your way and speak to some people that you haven't met. And who knows, you might encounter a great moment where you may never see that person again, but it was a great encounter. Or you might end up finding a special friend that you will cherish forever for the rest of your life. Because after all, that is how human relationships are started, initiated in the first place. Just wanted to encourage you so to start going out there with the attitude of being present where you are and see who the people are around you. Because once you have that present mindset, you begin to be able to build relationships with people. You begin to see who is alone, who is by themselves, who is actually standing there awkwardly and may want someone to approach them because that person could be you. So I just want to encourage you. Be mindful of where you are. Be present where you are today. And build the courage to step out of your comfort zone and meet some new people because you never know what may happen. As Jesus said before he died and before he left the earth, break bread with one another. Build unity with one another. Share life with one another because that truly is the best way to do life. Till next time, see you later.